Hey guys, it's Croft Studios, and I'm here with a new LEGO review for Ninjago. And this time I'm here with the Masmo Booster Pack, set 9555, ages 6 to 14, and 32 pieces, and it retails for $4.99. Okay, now we're going to put it together. Okay, and that's it. Here are your instructions. You have this side with how to build your weapons and such, and you get the JZX spinner picture right there and some other ones at the bottom. On this side, it shows you how to play the game and what you can do with the weapons and such. So here is Mesmo, the minifigure. He has very detailed hypnotizing eyes, as you can see. Very cool front printing, he has gray arms and dark gray hands. He has a very cool mold on the side of his head for the Hypnobri tribe of snakes. On the back he's got a little bit of detailing with some cool looking arrows going down his back. Dark blue pants and torso. The other arm is the same as the other one. Um, now on the front he's got very cool spinning detail on his torso. Uh, right there you can see the circles twisting into his stomach basically and on his legs he's got some cool printing going down there too. Okay so here's our first weapon which is basically an axe with some spears on it, bone spears, maybe some elephant tusks on the end of it and it looks really sweet and it can be used for like a spear. It is made up of seven pieces it is very cool looking. It has detailed pieces on the end of it that go jut out from the actual weapon itself. On the other side it is basically exactly the same. And this weapon is really, really cool. Our second weapon is a nunchuck sort weapon, except it has sort of an orange spear type thing at the end of it. It can move around the piece hooks into the, um, a stud on the bottom as you can see and you can move it around if I move it very quickly it'll it'll sort of jiggle around and stuff you can move it around if you hold on to it and it's very cool weapon so let's move on to our third weapon our third weapon is just a basic axe and I do not like this but it says Lego on each side of of it. I wish they would have put it on like a part of the pickaxe where you couldn't see it. It says numbers on both of those parts right there on each side of the blade and on this side on the left side it says Lego on it. I wish they would have put it on like the bar or something like that so you couldn't see it as well and it would have made it a much better weapon but overall it's a pretty cool weapon. Okay, so this is supposed to go on the bottom of your spinners if you buy those. It is a purple snake type thing. Right here, it has a piece on the bottom that spins so you can knock out the other player. So let's move on to the other piece that goes on to your spinners. You do also get some miscellaneous parts that you can maybe put on weapons for add-ons and they're pretty sweet. You do also get these extra parts for your spinner. They are very cool and they make your spinner look kind of attractive actually. It's pretty sweet. You do also get cards with your booster pack and this is on each side of the card. On this side, the first card is Mesmo. The second card you get is Snake Whips and that's pretty sweet. The next card you get is Inner Peace with the Sensei on the front of it and a really cool totem poles. The next one is the Sacred Flute, and I guess it makes the snakes all happy or something. And the last one is the Upper Hand, and I guess this is the best card. So that's basically it for the cards, now let's move on to our rating. I'm going to have to give this set a 9.5. What I really like about the set is the minifigure. Mesmo is really sweet looking. 
The axe with the spears on it is really cool. And the snake pieces that go on the bottom of your spinner with the lava pieces look really nice. And the miscellaneous pieces are very useful. There is a few cons, um, like the pickaxe. It doesn't, it like has Lego on it and it's kind of weird and shows that. I mean, that really wouldn't be on a pickaxe. And some of the weapons are a little cheesy, like that spear nunchuck thing. I really think it's a little cheesy, it's weird. Like it, if you swung that and tried to hit somebody with it, it would just you hit the heavy part and it wouldn't really work. So they weren't being really realistic right there. So a 9.5 for the set, but I do recommend to get this. So look for more LEGO reviews, rate, comment, and subscribe.